High above, Hercules sat on a cloud, feeling like a fraud. He'd give anything to talk to Hera, but she was long gone. So was his father. Maybe it was for the best. Did he really want to go crying to his parents about not knowing how to do his job? No, he didn't want Zeus regretting his decision to let, let him be a god. Pegasus swooped down and landed next to him, nuzzling Hercules' chest. The horse was so large, he accidentally knocked Hercules over. Hercules laughed. Whoa, boy. He sat back up and sm something fell from his belt. Nestled in the mist was the coin Meg had given him that morning. He picked it up. To remind you that your aim is true and to always trust your instincts, Sheet said. Trust my instincts, Hercules thought. He looked down at the separated clouds again, each one representing a different hero in need. When Phil had trained him, he hadn't stepped in and taken over. He talked to him, taught him techniques, told him about heroes from the past, given his best advice, then let him make up his own mind. That was what a coach was for. Hercules knew what a, what a lot of these heroes were going through. He'd walked in their sandals himself. He'd taken his own journey. He'd beaten many a monster and fought a god of the underworld. He knew what it was like to be afraid of the problem, but he also knew what it was like to take aim and hit your mark. Hercules stood up and looked down at the heroes in training in his city. He knew what he needed to do. Talk to them. Tell them you're rooting them on. Tell them they know what to do because they can trust their own instincts. Hercules focused on his breath and on each voice. They came in loud and clear. This time, they didn't feel so overwhelming. Hello, Despina, he started. I hear you. One by one, he reached out to them. He told Despina to climb the mountain and not fear the harpies. He advised Perseus on what blade to use to fight the Gorgon. He encouraged Callisto to defend her friend. He commiserated with Tobias, the herder, then reminded him to use his strength to knock down a log that his goats could walk across. Then he sat back on the cloud, the newly parted cloud, and watched as his charges took charge of their own destinies, fought their own monsters, forged their own paths, and made their way in the city. Woohoo! Hercules crowed jumping up and high-fiving Pegasus as he watched one hero after another complete their quest. We did it, Pegasus. We had our first day as a god of heroes, and we actually helped a few people become heroes on our own. I can't wait to tell Meg. He ruffled the horse's mane. Want to head down and get her, boy? She's probably finishing up herself.